Hi there, my name is Adnan and in this video I will show you how to install and use the Megascans Live Link for 3ds Max. To start off, I'm going to click on an asset that I want to export. I'll head over to the Export Settings tab and then scroll down to Export to option here. I'm going to click on the drop down and set it to 3ds Max. Now I'll download the plugin and once the download is complete, I'm going to click on Copy and then go back to Max. Now I'm going to go to Scripting and then Max Script Editor. I'll paste the line of code that I just copied from Bridge. Make sure that my language is set to Max Script. Then go to Tools and Evaluate All. A Mega Scans button should be added on our menu. And I'm just going to close this window, click on it, and then open the MS Live Link window. In here, you can set your render engine to Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, F-Storm, and Octane. I'm going to set it to Arnold and then close this window. Now before we start importing assets into the scene, let's make sure that we're using the proper unit setup. To do that, I'll go to Customize and then Unit Setup. In this window, I want to make sure that my display unit scale is set to metric and then set it to centimeters. Then I'll go to System Unit Setup and make sure that the system unit scale is also set to centimeters. I'll just click on OK here and there and then I'll create a 2 by 2 meters plane. I'll just drag and drop my plane in the scene, set its length and width to 2 meters by 2 meters, and I'll give it a subdivision level of 34 by 34. Alright, that should be good. Now let's go back to bridge, and then hit the export button over here. The material has now been imported and applied to our plane, and we can also control our displacement properties with the Arnold properties modifier. And if I open up the render view and hit render, You'll notice that our asset has been imported properly, has its displacement setup and everything else. The next thing that I'm going to do is import a 3D plant. So let's pause the render. And then I'll go back to bridge. And you can either click on the plant itself and then go to export setting then export. Or you could click on the export icon over here which will automatically send your plant to bridge. So let's go back to Max that now that the plant is imported. And as you can see, we have them in the viewport. I'll just move them around slightly. And now as you can see, our plant has been rendered properly with the proper displacement, roughness, normal, and translucency settings. Alright, that should be it for this video. Don't forget to check out the introduction to bridge tutorial, and I'll see you next time.